Hey, what's up everyone? This is CJ and you guys are watching Just For Fun and today I'm back with a brand new video. So, I want to inform you guys that you can actually get underground for free if you just own game on your PC. You don't need DLC or season pass for this. This is not for PS4 or Xbox One. This is just for PC. If you own a good PC and you have Division game on it, then you are good to go. Just go to Uplay account and download the PTS. If you guys still don't know what PTS are, PTS are public test server where now Matthew is letting people play the test server before they actually release the patch. That is what they are trying to do. Right now it's available for all. It also contains the awesome underground. If you never played underground, this is the right time and you can actually play with your own character so you can enjoy the underground for almost one month until the 1.4 comes out. You can actually play underground as a demo. If you like it, then you can decide to buy it. If you like it, you can decide to buy the season pass or DLC, underground DLC or not. Maybe you can just give it a try. It's free. It's free. If you own a PC, just go and download. That's the first news what we have. And the second one, this one is the best change in the game. If the data mine nodes are correct, then the lowest stats of the gear piece will always be higher than the highest stats of the gear piece from the previous tile. Which is something everyone is complaining from the long time. It is ridiculous that a 204 can have better stats than 229. So finally they said this and the data mine says this. But last night Marco tweeted this. And this one completely changes everything. So Marco Style actually tweeted this. So so can anyone explain to me why main stats on 163 item are rolled higher than main stats on 182 item? I don't get this. Then Frederick. If you guys don't know who's Frederick is, Frederick is senior designer at Ubisoft, massive. So he tweeted this back to Marcus. There shouldn't be. Send me some screenshot and I will have a look at it. Then Marcus sent this KSCO 163 and KSCO 182 knee pads. Same for every gear category. Look at this. This one is actually having 566 and it's 163. And the base stats are 469 to 579. And if you see this. This one is 182 but its stat stamina is still 491. That sucks guys. And 477 and 450, 559 is the stamina. Yeah, highest stamina is 559. So then after that and Frederick replied saying because recalibration view does not show the other chunk of stamina on their baseline, the total is higher. And then Marcus said the baseline of 182 item is 62 that means 477 plus 62 and it is 539 which would still be lower than the 575 that means the stat overlaps yeah that is what basically the other thing what i just said that the data mining thing and all but it does not it, it looks like it, it's not true then Frederick again replied saying special case which is going for 163 to 182 item the, the total stats budget is larger their base stat so there can be some overlap. So Marka said this is all intended. Frederick again said it's not super good but not unknown we are debating a fix. Then Marka replied to this. All right, just good to know it's not oversight. And finally, Frederick replied, fix now. So finally, it's fixed. The overlapping bug for 163 to 182, the special case is no more. Finally, it's fixed. So good job, Marco Style. You did a great job. Thank you so much for that. So next information is very big. And finally, buyback option is here. A buyback option from the vendor is a neat addition to 1.4. And good thing about the PTS is finding bugs and issues. So it seems like you can buy anything you can sell to from any vendor and the items that are available in the buyback list is there until you log out. But if you sell something to DZ vendor, there is a predetermined DZ rank which you need to be in order to buy it back. 
which is strange requirement since we have already owned this item at one point. So this is the screenshot where you can actually see that you have to be certain rank to buy back. This is a strange thing. Maybe they will fix it in future. But the interesting part is this. If you just visit to a different vendor outside the DZ, there is no more rank requirement to buy these items. You can see it in this screenshot that you can just go sell it and you can buy it back whenever you want until you log out. So hope they will fix this issue. Maybe this is intended, but looks like it's a very strange thing. But I hope they will fix it once the 1.4 comes to live. All right, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, then you will get most powerful gear set with all 100% stats that you wanted from the day one. I'm not just kidding, guys. You want Sentry, you will get Sentry. You want Nomad for 1.4, then you will get Nomad. Yeah, Nomad is good now, so you want Nomad. And special offer, guys, if you subscribe every time when you log into the game, you will have a special supply drop waiting for you, only for you. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And we finally hit 10,000 subscribers. There is a giveaway which is gonna come very soon. Have a great gaming, great day, bye bye guys.